Hey guys, it's Mara. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run the electronic simulator on the iStat, which needs to be run monthly. At least that's our protocol. So first of all, we're going to turn on this power button. It's going to show that loading iStat screen. So what we're going to do is first go down to menu. So hit menu. And then we're going to go to quality tests and then we'll click on 4 which is simulator so then this is when you would enter your operator ID or um, sometimes there's barcodes you may have on your badge um, which makes things a little easier so I'm going to scan my badge now so once you enter in or scan your badge, it's going to ask you to scan or enter the simulator ID. And we have that um, as a barcode on the side of our box. So I'm going to scan that. Okay. And now it's going to say insert your simulator. So this is what our box looks like. Um, it has a picture of what the simulator actually looks like too. So it has a little cap. And then here's the like the chip that's on the end. So we'll take that off. And then you'll just insert that in there. And it says contacting simulator, please wait. And simulator is locked. So basically it's just kind of checking the electrical impulses, making sure everything's working correctly as far as that goes. And just like it would with an iStack cartridge, it's going to count down until the results are done. But it says electronic simulator instead of, um, you know, a troponin or whatever you could be running. shouldn't take about more than 30 seconds. Can you hear it making the cycling noise? Okay, beep said it's done. So it gives us the time and it says electronic simulator and it passed. So that's really it. You might want to put it back on the dock so it can load up to your computer system so you know um, that it's been performed. But other than that, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.